Welcome back to Fanatic Posh over Jared here with Mr. Mark and Mark, and still with us, Brandon and Justin. Uh, we're talking about the Raptors. Recently, they had some struggles, but their season has been still going so far, uh, good so far. Uh, once you get your guys' thoughts about their season, what do you guys think about the whole uh, season so far? Well, the Raptors are still 12 and 3, right? Still sit atop the uh, Eastern Conference right now, so there's still a lot of positivity going on. I'd say the best stretch that the Raptors have ever had to start the season, of course, in their franchise, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes, there has been some struggles recently, but at the same time, we still have a lot of, you know, upside and a lot of um, positive thoughts actually, you know, kind of branch off from. Of course, Pascal Siakam is on the tear right now. He's actually Most fourth in the league in mm -hmm. field goal percentage and pretty much fifth in plus minus. So that's a really big, uh, really big um, jump right there. And then obviously a candidate for most improved player of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I, altogether, Kyle Lowry and the integration of Kawhi Leonard as well too, has been nothing but positivity, right? So mm -hmm. it's still the beginning stages. You're going on a four game world trip really soon against mm -hmm. Boston to start out to, uh, on Friday. So mm -hmm. that's gonna be a big test, but going forward, there's nothing but positivity. And of course they've improved mightily, of course, on the defensive end. So definitely a lot of um, positive outlook that we can kind of share with, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, and despite the, the last two losses, including the 19 point loss, there's no reason to panic. Mm -hmm. It's still early in the season. And I think this is a good opportunity for the Raptors to remain humble mm -hmm. and realize what mistakes they had to make. They had the perfect start to the season, and you know, you're reading all the fans' posts saying, mm -hmm. Championship, here we come. <laughs> and that's kind of where you're going to say, Okay, calm down. Mm -hmm. They've had many great regular seasons. Mm -hmm. What ultimately matters is how prepared they are for the playoffs, exactly. how much this unit can gel, and what they can improve on, whether it's the defense, the three point shooting, and the overall chemistry. Mm -hmm. What have you guys been impressed uh, the most so far? Just watching, you know, even if it's. Is it a player or is it uh, the coach? Like, what have you been so impressed the most just really for just the past few weeks? Uh, the way they can get out in transition, the way that they can actually just push the, push the tempo, you know, just get out and run. Uh, obviously, I, I mentioned, of course, Pascal Siakam. He's, once again, fourth in the league right now in field goal percentage because of the fact that he can run and get, get in front of a lot of players. And, of course, Kawhi Leonard loves feeding that, of course. And mm -hmm. with all the players that we have right now, I, I see... I, I definitely see them being one of the top, um, sh you know, three-point shooting teams in the league as well too. With Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry, I've even mentioned Kyle Lowry too. Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, and even CJ Miles and Fred Van We have a really, pr pretty much the most, probably the deepest team in the league when it comes to the front ten, the first ten going off them, going mm -hmm. up. So just nothing but positivity so far. Hopefully that they can start gelling because obviously the playoffs is what's most important. So just a matter <laughs> of gelling and getting that all together right now. But the deepest team I would say so far for the first, first and second unit. Right. And I'm loving the unselfishness, uh -huh. whether it's JV or Ibaka taking turns coming off the bench, or Kyle Lowry passing in situations where he might have taken the shot mm -hmm. last season. It is the unselfishness, it is the ball movement, that's where the assists are going up now in numbers, and that is what's key for the Raptors heading into the playoffs. Obviously, we're looking way too far ahead, <laughs> but it's a good sign to see now. Well, it's good yeah. to see, too, that Kyle Lowry is actually average. He's number one in the league in assists right now, 10.7. Yeah. And he's leading the league, of course, in charges, taking, of course, and he led last year, too. So he's doing his job even without DeMar DeRozan. He's, uh, you can see the chemistry is obviously getting there with Kawhi Leonard as well, and he's not 100% either. So exactly. nothing but positivity going, going mm -hmm. forward with the Raptors. I mean, right now, like, like, like you've mentioned, Everyone, they haven't had a complete roster, like, you know, right. play uh, roster the past few weeks. No. Either, you know, uh, Ibaka's injured recently, Van mm -hmm. Fleet, DeLon mm -hmm. Wright, Naomi mm -hmm. Powell. What's their ceiling when they have a full roster healthy coming into, you know, maybe the next few weeks and next month or maybe towards the postseason? What's their ceiling? It just gives Nick Nurse a bunch of weapons. They, weapons that you can use when it comes off the bench. Doesn't matter. You can start probably five. The, the starting lineup can be interchanged probably seven times because you have mm -hmm. a bunch of guys that have their own specialty and they all work well together. They're all unselfish, as Justin actually mentioned. So um, when it comes to the potential that they can actually, you know, um, showcase in the league, they're, they're one of the top, I would say, top four teams in the league right now. Of course, you have Golden State, you do have, um, you know, the Boston Celtics, but the Raptors are right in that same category too, right? Mm -hmm. of they're nothing, I, nothing but um, positivity, of course, with that, and a lot of weapons. And I think the ultimate goal is making it to the finals. The Raptors have never been there in mm -hmm. franchise history, and I think that would be their goal this season. Obviously, they've come up short in playing against the Cavaliers those previous years, getting eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals. And I think right now the ultimate goal is making it to the NBA Finals. Right. And they match up really well too. Of course, you have Jonas Valanciunas off the, off the bench too. And he's, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's top 10 actually in field goal percentage too. Yeah. He's coming off the bench, right? So you have, you know, weapons, not weapons, but in a sense, a lot of players coming from guards all the way to forwards that can complement you in so many different ways. So the Raptors are gonna be dangerous when it comes to the playoff time, for sure. Really dangerous. Uh, the other night we had the return of coach Dwayne Casey uh, played the Detroit, Detroit Pistons against the Toronto Raptors the other right. night. Um, 
and it was a big win for Coach Casey, if, you, if people would say. Yeah. Uh, what did you guys th uh, think about the whole game and the whole, whole situation where Dwayne Casey, you could see at the final buzzer, he was jumping like he won a playoff game. What mm -hmm. you guys thought of that whole situation? <laughs> you, can't, you can't be anything but happy for Dwayne Casey coming back. Like, he's done nothing but great things for the franchise over the past seven years. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he really does know the personnel for the Raptors as well, too. So mm -hmm. they clamped down a defense. He had a certain plan. A great a great play, of course, to, to finish the game. I would well. say two, two inbound plays. Two that inbound plays well. are really good. I like, yeah. had people thinking, why wasn't he doing that when he was with Toronto? But <laughs> he, at the same he didn't time, have Jose Calderon. <laughs> yeah, Jose <laughs> Calderon. It's yeah. even yeah. ironic, too, right? Right with yeah. that. But um, I definitely, I, I would say he, he's done a really good job with the Raptors. He's been nothing but positive, a positive coach for the Raptors in the past. Um, at the same time, it is bittersweet because he did give up a 19 to 17 point, 17 point lead, right? Yeah. But at the same time, his guys are playing for him and they they look like a better team too with the Detroit, Detroit Pistons. So um, nothing but, you can't be, you can be nothing but happy for Dwayne Casey, but at the same time, disappointed that the Raptors actually fell short that's with true. that, even with without Danny Green and some other players, Serge Ibaka, right? So that's the little game the Raptors need to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it was a bittersweet loss, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. blowing that 19-point lead at home against the Detroit Pistons. However, seeing seeing the emotion and doing Casey, mm -hmm. see, felt so happy for him, you know, the reigning coach of the year who had just lost his job mm -hmm. and now has the Pistons on the brink of a playoff run. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, and I know Blake Griffin has been uh, defending Casey as well, giving some shots to the Masai Ujiri about, mm -hmm. you know, this is what happens when you... Uh, right. We have Dwayne Casey on our team, and Dwayne <laughs> Casey, you know, defending himself right. as well yeah. in late game situations. Where you just see there in two late game situations, he was able to prosper and get the job done. Mm -hmm. um, but there's some other NBA news happening in the NBA. A lot of things happening within the Warriors camp. The, Draymond Green and Kevin Durant looked like they might have made ends meet, mm -hmm. or like they made up after a huge argument against uh, the Los Angeles Clippers. Mm -hmm. And for some reason. Things happen in the Staples Center. Mm -hmm. Some uh, fights happen mm -hmm. with CB3 and CB3, Houston Rockets. Yes. <laughs> now Something the Warriors happens, yeah. are fighting. So yeah. your thoughts on the situation. Does this um, whole situation implode the Warriors? Or is it gonna, are, are they going to bounce back and move forward after this, what Draymond Green said? Contrary to proper belief, every team, there, there's always tension between certain players. The reason why it's so magnified is, is because it's the, it's the Golden State Warriors, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Draymond Green was mad that he actually lost the ball, and of course, getting having KD to go over to him and actually be very adamant and mad that he didn't give him the ball in that late game situation obviously made him really mad. And we all know that Draymond Green wears his heart on his sleeve. He's a very emotional player, right? But at the end of the day, you can see that these guys and just how the Golden State Warriors are actually formed, they're all family. Like those guys are really close. Mm -hmm. So you can see this is nothing but a, a small I situation. I think it will definitely. We're not going to be talking about it in two weeks yeah. from now, to be honest. Not at all. Winning cures everything. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, 29 other fan bases are hoping hoping that, that the situation is imploding <laughs> and that yeah, the yeah. chemistry is going to fall apart yeah. and then Durant's yeah. going to bolt after the season. Right. Give it a win streak, maybe even another championship after the season. Yeah. This no. is going to be nothing. Exactly. Winning cures exactly. everything. As Absolutely. long as, um, I mean, they're, the fight that they have, the argument they have is because to benefit the team. It's not Absolutely. because, you know, yeah. they're, they don't want to play together or mm -hmm. it's because they're mm -hmm. losing. It's because of the fact that they want to win. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it's good to see that in a team. I mean, they've had Steve Kerr and Steve, Michael Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan, Jordan actually got fight, punched in the face, and exactly. Because Physically. they are competitive. Physically. Exactly. Yeah. Competitive so it happens, and and once again, it happens in every single level yeah. um, all the time, of course, yeah. especially in pro sports, right? So it's not a really you know, out of the ordinary situation. Yeah. It's just something obviously magnified because yeah. the Golden State Warriors and a lot especially of people here. want to take them down. Quickly, right. was yeah. it su quickly, was it surprising that Draymond Green actually got suspended without pay? Uh, not, just, no, not really, to be honest with you, because I, I think it's, they want to protect KD. They mm -hmm. want to sign him back at the end of the season. So it's mm -hmm. one of those things like, yeah, stay away from I, I think it was more of a protection for KD, in a sense. Um, but no, I'm not surprised that Draymond Green was suspended for that time. I, I think it was deservedly so. It was, it was deserving, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. how he had a lash. Yeah. Um, so Anyways, uh, that was a, some. That was a great show. I mean, we had a lot of stuff, stuff to talk about the Raptors situation and the Warriors situation. But that it's all for our show for today. Um, but before we end our show, any shout outs? I know. Let's shout out one more time. <laughs> give, it, give it to us. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Please follow us, of course, on Instagram at O.XP Media. That's Overexposure Media on Instagram. And of course, on Twitter at OXP Media. Um, we have two podcasts, six man podcasts, the six man podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes, and another one called Micro Show Relations. So please mm -hmm. do follow us. It's obviously a great podcast for sure. And most importantly, shout out to all the followers. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, man. Th thank you guys for tuning in for this week's uh, episode. Thank Don't you. forget to follow us on social media as well. Where can they find us, Mark? Can I cross over, guys? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Everything is there. Thanks, hey, guys, man. for following and always commenting on our shows, too. Appreciate it. And as always, stay balling, guys. <laughs>